up you guys it's Emily welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel so today I have one of my favorite videos to film for you guys which is a favorite video and I have a lot of good stuff that I've been loving this month so let's just jump right on into it okay so we're gonna start with makeup is that cool with you guys we'll start with makeup so the first thing I have is this mascara from Clinique and it just looks like a basic mascara right like a little travel size mascara well, this is the fun part, for me at least. Um, you undo it, and it's just this tiny, tiny little wand. Basically for your lower lashes, which I really like because I have very small lower lashes and they need some TLC and some one-on-one -on -one time. So I think it's really nice that I don't have to deal with the big wand of a usual upper eyelash mascara. Does that make sense? So it's just easier for me to use and I don't have to worry about all the smudging and stuff. You know how that goes. Okay, so the next favorite I've been loving this month, I actually didn't really originally like the color because it, I was too pale for it, but now that I've gotten a little bit of the sun, I'm really digging this NYX lingerie lipstick. The only thing I will say is definitely moisturize, moisturize, moisturize before you use this because it will dry your lips out okay but so anyways the name of this lipstick is push up it's 106 that's the color okay but so anyways the name of this lipstick is push up it's 106 that's the color so I'm pretty sure I was just holding this in the other clip but this is another makeup favorite I've been loving um, as you can see it kind of comes down into like this like curve I never knew what this was for and I was at work the other day and I heard that these were for cleaning up like your contour so I was like okay like I will it do anything different than the usual beauty blender and yes it really helps me a lot I actually like to keep this dry because I don't like dipping um, wet beauty blenders into my powder I just I don't know why I just feel like it makes it like cakey or whatever I like to keep the powder in powder form and then I'll just take, because it's at like an angle, and I'll just take it and fix up my contour, which I didn't even know this was a thing. So I'm really happy I figured this out because this is like a makeup lifesaver. Okay, so next thing we will do is like outfit wardrobe accessories things. And so my favorite wardrobe thing of this month is, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So this is my free people dress that I got from TJ Maxx for $50. Like, okay, this was originally 128 and anybody who goes to like Nordstrom or anything like that will know this is a steal on this cute dress. And I'm just obsessed with it because I know I'm going to wear it like all spring and summer. So it was definitely worth the $50 in my opinion. Okay, so the last wardrobe accessory thing I bought was this Michael Kors purse. It's perfect because it's a crossbody, which I love. And also, it's kind of like a tinier model because I don't know if anybody's like this. I usually see girls saying they carry too much stuff in their purse, but I'm like the opposite. I literally have like four things in there and that's all I would use plus my wallet. So, I don't know. This just works out best for me. I don't have to worry about carrying a big purse around for four things. And I just think it looks silly because I'm carrying this big purse with nothing in it. So I was really happy about picking this up. So if you know me, you know I am obsessed with Target's candles. So I got a new one. I had a different one. It was called Silver Rain, I believe, in my last favorites video. And I went to pick up a new one of Silver Rain and I found this one instead and I picked it up. It smells like, if I could open it. Okay. It's definitely like a clean scent, but with like kind of like a twist on it, but I can't decide what the twist is. Maybe like, maybe like a manly twist on clean linen, if that makes sense. But anyway, so it's the collection by Chesapeake Bay Candle and the scent is gray flannel. And I just think these are so cutely like packaged because it has this little wood, this like little black wood. Um, top and the color kind of matches like the aesthetic in my room if you could tell and I don't know I'm just like really obsessed with it and these were on sale I think they were like 20% off so it was only like $10 so if you're by a Target I would totally recommend picking it up and it just started raining so if you guys hear that I'm really sorry I tried to film earlier and my neighbor was 
Oh my god, it's seriously raining so bad outside. I tried to film earlier, but my neighbor was outside mowing the lawn right next to me, so it, I guess it's a lose-lose situation. But, um, so the next thing I bought was this little corgi mug. How cute. If any of you don't really know me, I have a Pembroke Welsh corgi who looks exactly like this little guy. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. And on the inside of the mug, it says Corgi. And I picked this up at TJ Maxx. I think they might have had a Beagle and a Basset Hound. Or maybe it was just a Basset Hound. Or maybe it was just a Beagle. I don't know. They had some other animals on it. But I just thought this was the cutest thing. And it's something I'm going to love forever because I love my dog. And it's just so cute, you guys. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to have to get for this. But I also bought this at TJ Maxx. And I hope this is in focus. But how cute is this? I thought it would be really cute to put like up above here and it just says create and has a little DSLR camera and it's supposed to light up. So I hope it does because it was on sale and yeah, but this is the last thing I bought and I'm really excited about it. I got a t-shirt max for like $25. It was originally $32 I think. So yes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. I had a really good time making it for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in my Coffee Talk Friday. Bye guys.